Hello and welcome to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce, where we connect with Troy Chamber members as they give us a glimpse into their company and share some of the business lessons they've learned along the way. Hi everyone, I'm Tara Thompson Cusack, President and CEO of the Troy Chamber, and I'm here with the amazing co-host and Vice President of the Chamber, Sheila Dunstead. Hi everybody. First, I'd like to take a moment to thank our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. Stay tuned for our first commercial break where you can learn how you can rely on Tryon. Sheila, we got a great line today. Line up. Who is our special guest? All right. Are you ready? Today, we're meeting with Jim Bruxfort, ITIL Foundation Certified Director of Partner Technology Service with our longtime member, Raymond. Yay. A principal in technology solutions department, Jim's primary focus is on serving business professionals by applying technology to business needs to improve efficiency and create value. As the director of partner technology services, he leads the product and development and implementation of cloud and managed technology services. I just learned a lot about cloud in the last <laughs> few years, so yes, this we, is exciting. Yes, actually we have. <laughs> he is also responsible for professional technology services delivered from three branch offices. Jim is involved in his community, serving on multiple boards, including the local school board and property association board. And I'm interested to hear what community that's with. He's also a graduate of Leadership Grand Rapids, which equips leaders to get back to their communities through board leadership. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you, Jim. Um, and that was a lot of information. So we're kind of excited to learn more. But I know Raymond has a variety of services that it provides. But what is RTS? And how does it fit into the Raymond, I guess, structure overall? Well, Raymond, or RTS, stands for Raymond Technology Solutions. Ah, we were, we were <laughs> going back and forth it. before that, yeah. saying I don't know what it's that would be. It's just another three-letter <laughs> acronym, right, yeah. in technology. That's how right. we'll remember. It'll be great. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so we're providing a lot of outsourced IT solutions to clients. So that, in a nutshell, that's where we're at. So when you say outsourced IT, like what does that encompass? So that's going to be supporting infrastructure, so servers, workstations, network, internet access, all of that stuff, making sure that those systems are available up and running all the time. And then it goes beyond that in professional services where we'll do some consulting, project work, a lot of those areas where maybe people don't have that internal expertise, yeah. but they need some help in being able to move that direction. So we can do projects, around the technology area as well. And then that delves into more of the security side of things. That's mm -hmm. a hot topic right oh, now. Yeah. So that, that usually <laughs> We'll get comes into around. that oh, one for good. sure. Oh, good. Absolutely. <laughs> well, and it's funny that you say that. Like, uh, obviously, a lot of people know Raymond and, as accounting and CPA, but you guys really do do a variety of things. When did this kind of, is it, would you say a branch or a sector or department, sure. when did this kind of all come into play? So we were... Uh, and brought, well, brought into uh, Raymond in 2018. Okay. So we were oh, in, fairly in, new. It is fairly new, exactly. So it's just we're we're still integrating in that respect, which is nice. It's fun. It's it's working really really well. Yeah. But our role is to be able to kind of round out a lot of the solutions team at Raymond, which is providing a lot of back end or back office services. So there's outsourced uh, accounting, there's outsourced HR. Well, we're the outsourced IT part of that as well. Nice. So not sure if you know or not, we have about 600 members of all varying degrees. What types of companies would benefit from your RTS services? Oh, everybody. Could be, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, always the right answer. Down, right? Yeah. All right, so let's, yes. let's narrow it down. So it's going to be a lot of the small to medium-sized businesses. So we can break it down into our services tie into like a small business maybe less than 75 to 100 people where they're not quite large enough to have an IT staff, mm -hmm. okay? So we can come in and more cost-effectively provide a very deep bench, broad technical expertise in a smaller environment. And so that's one aspect. Another one is there are larger organizations that they really want to focus their IT resources specifically on business-focused, industry-specific roles, and so we can come in and we can supplement that and provide some services just to keep everything running. Kind of the boring, mundane, really highly disciplined type work that needs to get done every single day. But they want to use their specific skill set to focus on industry specific things. So we supplement an existing uh, IT staff as well. 
So when you bring up the fact, uh, it's so funny when people say small business, how because everybody is like small business like four people or small <laughs> business like 300. And it, right. it's really interesting we say that. So what would be considered, obviously you said 75 and under, but is there too small? Well, not necessarily. Uh, you can have like one or two people that still have an IT need as far as trying to get their business up off the ground, or mm -hmm. they've just been doing it for a long time, and they're going, I, I just don't know enough about it. Or I want to make sure all my I's are dotted and T's are crossed because I want to take this organization to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to grow with you at that point. How are you getting the word out there that you're doing that? Yeah. Well, that's a great question. I so, guess podcasts. Uh, well, yeah, to start <laughs> I'm here today. One check. Yes. I'm here today. Exactly. So we have a we have a business development team that's out and networking and working out uh, within the communities. Uh, we have a specific focus in the south, what we call Southeast region, which is the greater Detroit Toledo mm -hmm. area. We have a, a big presence in this area. So this is where we really want to focus and work harder at getting the name out and the word out that these are services we're now providing in this area. I love it. Well, this sounds like a good time to take a quick little break and hear a word from our presenting sponsor, Trion Solutions. We'll be right back. You dreamed of starting a company, not an HR department, but your business has grown fast. And so have the complexities of payroll and taxes, benefits administration, and other HR functions. That's why your business needs a professional employer organization like Tryon Solutions. Tryon provides businesses of all sizes access to top-tier healthcare and employee benefit plans. With Tryon, you don't have to grow it alone. Visit RelyOnTryon.com. You can always rely on Tryon. Welcome back to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. We are here with Jim from Raymond. Jim, why is cybersecurity crucial for businesses today? I always like that keyword, cybersecurity. It's been the focus of everything. So tell us a little bit why. Well, it's a really hot topic right now just because every small to medium, or actually every business has um, a need to kind of get in front of this. Mm -hmm. It's something we've kind of taken for granted for many, many years in the industry, but it's becoming a bigger and bigger problem because technology is so integrated in what every business does today. And by the process of just accessing the internet, you are basically creating an access into your data. And your data is critical to making sure that you're staying keeping it secure, keeping it locked down, and keeping it safe from the people that want to take advantage of it. Yeah. So when we're talking about cybersecurity itself, there's there's a lot going on in that realm. Do the smaller businesses need to be paying attention to this as equal as the larger businesses? Oh, absolutely. Because if, if there's value in your data and your business, there's value to the bad actors in getting access. To <laughs> the it. bad so, actors. That's yes. a good way of wording it. Yeah. Wow. A lot nicer than some of the things we've said. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we continue to hear about uh, horror stories coming in from across the country on cyber threats. What are some of the issues, threats that the technology world faces that could impact our members locally? Yeah. Well, uh, the biggest one that they probably hear about the most is ransomware. Yeah. And so where, where your computers and your data get locked down, encrypted, you can't access it. And then you're kind of stuck. You either have to pay the ransom or you got to restore your data. And our preference would be to restore the data. Yeah. We I mean, don't paying wanna, ransom doesn't sound fun. It's not fun. And it also actually grows that industry. So as long as your people are paying ransoms, they're going to continue to try to attack other businesses as well. So we're, we're encouraging people, you know, do your due diligence on the front end, make sure you're getting good backups that you can restore from it, you can recover from it, and then you don't have to pay the ransom, and we don't allow those uh, the bad actors to continue to, to uh, benefit or profit from this. So with that being said, when, you, when you're talking through that piece, when people are worried about some of those threats that Sheila said— should they should be acting beforehand and not call you the minute it happens? Well, they so. can call us. If they, <laughs> they can do both, I guess. But it's a li you know, then it, the the cost typically goes up. There's a lot mm -hmm. of things you can do on the front end to reduce the cost of any kind of cyber attack. And we we go through a presentation and we show a slide that says, well, these are all the things you can do to kind of lower your cost in the case of a breach, and these are things that will actually increase the cost uh, of a breach. And so. You know, we walk clients through that and make sure they understand the, the business decision. And when we approach it, we approach it in a way that we want to make sure it fits their business model. Yeah. So it because you can throw a lot of money at cybersecurity and preventing it. But is that really fit your business model and where your business is going? And 
we work one-on-one uh, -on -one with the organizations to help them figure that out. And it's always the businesses that say it's not going to happen to me. Yeah. Well, true. That is true. And that's um, sticking your head in the sand is not a good method for <laughs> trying to prevent that from happening. Uh, usually we, we try to do as coach our, our clients and saying what you want to do is you want to be a little bit less than the easiest target because there's so many easy targets out there that that's usually the people that get hit first. Yeah. And so what we work with is just let's let's start working through a process and a plan to get you to the point where you're not an easy target anymore. Makes sense. Hey, Tara. Yeah. After all that targeting, um, <laughs> I think this might be time for our favorite segment, Did You Know? Oh, that's a great. I like the targeting line. That was great. Uh, I think that's a great idea, Sheila. So what are our members going to learn about today? Well, they are going to learn about that the Troy Chamber of Commerce has its own magazine, an annual publication called Experience Troy Membership Guide and Community Profile. Our publication features content from our members for our members to help them build their businesses. Of course, it also includes a listing of all of our members so you can reach out to them whenever you need them and be proactive. Ooh, good word. Also, advertising <laughs> opportunities are still available. So if you need to know more, please just reach out to me. I love it. Well, and what's I think great about our, our obviously our Experience Troy magazine is it's published by our magazine. So we actually have such good quality content. Like we, it's not just your, your average membership guide. There's so much people can learn from it and it's, widely sought after. So I always found that great. Ooh, Ooh. Uh, but that is great to know. And now, you know, too. So don't forget to check your mailbox as it comes in in January. So Jim, can you tell us a little bit about Raymond's cyber ready and cyber responsive programs? Absolutely. So the cyber ready program is kind of what I was talking about earlier. We work with an organization to make sure that they put a security platform or framework together. So a lot of companies will say, well, I just want to solve this one problem, and they buy a software package, and okay, push the easy button, it's fixed. Well, no, it really isn't. Mm -hmm. So it really, we actually walk the organization through creating a cybersecurity framework that establishes how they do business and how they manage risk in general. And um, it, it's putting a plan together so that they can actually work the plan and uh, help them sleep better at night. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm listening. I know every once in a while I'll get quiet, but I'm actually listening and taking this in. And one of the things I'm hearing, it's just about being proactive. And oh, I yeah. think sometimes we're we're so caught up in everything, we forget to take that piece of it and just think ahead. Yeah. With that being said, what final nugget can you leave for our members today that they can put in effect right away? After they hear this podcast, they can go to their whomever or call you you get something going right away. We'll leave your cell phone number at yeah. the end. Absolutely. Of <laughs> so yeah, we would love to talk to anybody that has an interest or need in that area because um, our, our approach is really to just kind of get to know and make sure we've got the right fit for the organization and where they want to go to support their business needs. Uh, that's the biggest part. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, that's all we have here today on Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. I just wanted to thank our guest, Jim from Raymond. You were absolutely wonderful, so informative, and I still have a little fear now that yeah, we're not yeah. as proactive as we should be. So yeah. thank you for scaring me just the right amount. Uh, but everyone, thanks so much for joining us. I'd also like to thank our presenting sponsor, Try and Solution. If you are interested in any of our upcoming events or how to join the chamber, go to uh, trychamber.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.